G'day. Uh, what we've got here is a bit of an addendum to the uh, Kegel video. I'm just going to throw some legs on this one. I'm going to put it onto a, an auction site and flog it off to make some money to put into my larger kettles. Um, and having some legs on it so that it can be used as a um, with, it, with a gas banjo or uh, as an electric still is going to give it a bit of extra extra value to some people. So I'm just going to quickly throw some uh, stubby little legs on it and raise it off the uh, off the ground. Um, what I've got here is I've made a profile, a little bit like the legs from a hot water settle on the conversion video. Made a uh, profile for the, the side of the, um, or the the base skirt of that uh, kegel keg where I'm going to uh, weld my legs onto. And I've basically got a piece of two inch pipe. Um, put that onto my profile and, and worked out drawn it onto the pipe and just carefully messed around and curve fit it with a dremel and a power file and a few bits and pieces. Now I've wrapped this piece of paper around it, the outside of the um, stainless, and uh, just carved the with a, with a knife. I've just um, cut the outside of it. So I've now got a profile that I can slip over another piece of um, stainless tube draw that bird's mouth onto that stainless and then just cut that out. I've got a, a, all, the, all my paint by numbers lines lined up on the pipe for me to follow already. So that's what I'm just about to go and do now with the, the other remaining three feet. These ones are a little quickly so they don't match up perfectly but they match up big enough, uh, well enough that I can um, stainless weld these guys together and, and um, fill any, any small gaps. I've uh, managed to carve all these bird's mouths out, roughly, roughly all the same, and now I'll go and tack them on 90, 90 degrees apart around the outside of this kettle, and uh, just weld them in place. I've been careful the way I've done it, uh, the angle and angle of the angle that I've uh, attached them on, um, but I don't actually go too near the kettle itself, I'm just attaching them to the skirt. The reason for that is um, I just don't want to go have to, have to go passivating the inside of the kettle again. If I, I weld around there, there's going to be stuff left on the inside, oxidation and whatever. Welding on the, the skirt there, I don't need to be any, anywhere near as, as delicate and, and, and prissy about it, and I can just blast a nice weld around there. And here I've got the uh, legs welded on. I haven't passivated anything yet. I've just finished them. They're still still hot to touch. Um, next step is to uh, cut them off flush. I mean, this, this table is not the most level thing, but I'll take it inside and, and find a nice level piece of concrete floor and run around with a pen like I did with the legs of the hot water cylinder in the hot water cylinder conversion video. And I'll just cut. Yeah, I'm talking to myself, mate. <laughs> I'll um, cut them off flush so, so they sit nice and, and square on the ground, or nice and flat on the ground. So I'll go and do that um, before I uh, passivate anything or give anything a buff. And uh, that's pretty much finished now. That can go on a, an auction site after I've after I've tidied it up. So here's the, the finished rig again. Um, this time with feet. I've got a hose on one side. Um, I haven't got any electric element in there at the moment because this thing could potentially be run either or electric or, or um, gas. I'm going to sell it so. Um, People can let me know if they want things changed on the, on the auction site, but uh, that's it, all good to go. I might have to be sneaky and get in there this weekend and run run some rum in it, just so I've had one, one run of an actual product through it. It'd be a shame not to. <laughs> of that, that kettle, of, um, that kettle. I've run, run stuff through the, the still before, but it's not that, that kettle. And here we are.